So if you want to know how my waist and stomach went from this to this in three days, keep on watching. Hello daily student family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here, hello, my name's Kimberly and I hope you subscribe. Turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload and give this video a massive thumbs up to be a part of my weight loss journey channel. Now, as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be trying to slim down my stomach in three days. Yes, three days. And I've been seeing this tag all around YouTube lately that claims that with doing these workouts and from some of the biggest fitness influencers on YouTube have been claiming that you can get a slimmer waist and slimmer stomach in just three days. Now when I saw this I was like okay I need to try this, I really need to test this out for myself. I've just been on a holiday, I've come back on a two week holiday where I've just indulged, eaten pancakes, eaten everything I wanted to. So I thought what better way to test this theory out than to just try it. So over the next three days I'm going to be trying this challenge and seeing if it helps me out and get back into shape like I was before my holiday. Also guys don't forget to come over and follow me on my inspirational fitness page on Instagram but also if you'd like to come over and follow me on my personal Instagram page I'd absolutely love to have you on there. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe because we are on the road to 60,000 subscribers before my birthday. That would be my dream to have you, you and you on this road to 60,000 before my birthday hits so let's absolutely smash it. Just so that you guys get a rundown of my diet plan for the next three days I'm going to be intermittent fasting of a four hour window of eating that means from 4pm till 8pm every single day will be my eating window. I'm going to be eating about types of foods such as chicken, vegetables, carbohydrates. I'm not overly restricting and if I want a snack I'll have a chocolate bar, I'll have a treat, that sort of thing. So although it's going to be intermittent fasting and it's going to be conscious eating, it's not going to be overly restricted. I also aim to attempt to drink a gallon of water a day just to keep me hydrated and also it provides me with a lot of energy. I'm thinking that this will help me also get my stomach and portion sizing back into check as well. Without further ado, let's get into the exercises and let's take test this theory because I am so so excited to find out if it actually works. As you guys can see there, it really, really did work. I was putting in my all to really give this challenge a fair chance and a fair test because I've seen this all over YouTube and I was wondering like, how are people actually getting results from this? People are actually seeing a huge, huge change. So when putting it into test, I really wanted to give it a fair, fair chance. So again, like I said, my eating was intermittent fasting, 4 p.m. till 8 p.m. every day. I was drinking a gallon of water a day just to keep hydrated and also allow myself to get all my portions into back into control. So that was another main thing for me. When I was off work, I was eating whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, because I was out of my normal routine. Finding my feet again, I really wanted to help use the water in order to help me do that. Again, for food, I was eating chicken, rice, vegetables for dinner type of thing. Breakfast, um, well, breakfast in my intermittent fasting window would be, which ended up being a combination of chicken, vegetables, rice. Sometimes I'd had pasta, that type of thing. So I wasn't being overly restricted. Even one of the days I had like a slice of chocolate cake, just to really prove that it is all in the eating whatever you want but in controlled good portions. This challenge, the exercises were so easy, so simplistic. I was feeling a bit sluggish, especially being back after a while. In exercises, because I took about a week off from exercising and I was feeling a bit like, oh, you know, you feel very heavy and difficult to process your mind around going back into an exercise. But I actually found it very easy to get back in just because the moves were so beginner friendly. They're not overly strenuous, they're not overly difficult. They're very easy, very easy to do in the evening times, morning times. I I was doing the exercises about once a day so it really shows just doing that but efficiently and effectively for a good amount of session of workout just really really shows that you can push yourself on a holiday you can eat whatever you want not be too worried about what you might come back having gained weight or anything like that that you can really bring it back so enjoy yourself if you want to have sweets sugar treats and that on holiday because you can always bring it back and that's so important to remember and these three days have been so fun and exciting to actually see the changes day to day for myself 
yourself as well because you can feel a bit hopeless like oh my god I'm never gonna be what I was before I left for holiday but you actually can bring it all back and it's just I really recommend it it's such a fun challenge to do and you guys don't have to do it in three days if you want to be a bit easier on it I think the intimate fasting did help a bit as well you don't have to do it in three days give yourself six like to think that you can actually still achieve this results in six days seven days it's really amazing it's really cool as you can see on the sides of my stomach have really shrunk in because that's where I started to see the changes the most especially during and after holiday that fat was coming around on my sides which is something that I don't normally have and when I did the exercises and I was able to start seeing shrink in a lot of it's water retention a lot of it's water weight and a lot of it is some of my muscle that turned into fat so again the fat on the sides of my stomach had really started to show through and to be able to shred shed that and slim that down has been so amazing so fun and really good to actually see those differences and I think that's what's so important about fat percentage of fat loss as well is that a lot of people stay the same weight so I didn't necessarily gain I gained like only two pounds over holiday but it's really that fat percentage your muscle that turns into fat the extra fat that your body creates that makes the differences as opposed to genuinely just gaining loads of pounds so a lot of the time it can be if you've gained loads of pounds you haven't necessarily gained loads of fat and if you haven't gained loads of pounds but you've been eating unhealthy sometimes it's just your fat percentage going up so this is a very good example of that that actually I didn't gain loads of weight on the scales but my fat percentage had gone up because the fat the rolls were starting to show through but I love showing you guys these updates and showing you that it's so possible to have the best of both worlds not all the time once in a while so that you're not your once in a while isn't isn't every single day so I love showing you guys that and taking you guys along with me on that specific journey don't forget if you guys would like to come over and follow me on Instagram I have an inspirational fitness page on Instagram where I like to update you guys every single day on there I have a 10,000 steps challenge that I'm currently doing and it is so fun you guys are joining in I'm updating you guys but also if you'd like to come over and follow my personal Instagram page I'd absolutely love to have you guys on there as well now don't forget to like comment and subscribe we are on the road to 60,000 and I'd love to see every Every single one of you guys there it would mean the world to me to have you you and you watching this video on the 60,000 road uh, with us so do subscribe and turn your post notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload now I love you guys so much I'll see you guys soon bye guys